Well, now that you know about capsules on wine bottles, when it comes to packaging and closures, corks and bottles could someday be a thing of the past. Master sommelier Evan Goldstein casts an essential look ahead at how technology is changing the way we're opening wine. Cork, of course, has been the traditional closure for decades and decades and centuries and centuries. Evan Goldstein has popped more than a few corks as a master sommelier. He knows all too well these natural stoppers may harbor a bacteria that can spoil or cork a wine. Sure, there are synthetic corks. Increasingly, more and more wineries are actually using them. They're effective in preventing cork taint, but there are other options. For me, the thing I'm most excited about in this day and age is this whole sort of return of the screw cap. It usually for people historically connotes cheap wine, jug wine, bad wine. And for years and years and years, the irony of course is that we traded people up. Now screw caps are twisting off and saving wine from cork taint all over. You don't need a tool to actually remove the wine from the bottle. Uh, you can seal the wines easily when they're done. But how do you open a screw cap bottle with finesse? Pick up the bottle of wine and place the neck of the bottle in your hand. The idea here is to close your hand and twist the bottle rather than twisting the screw cap. And in that way, you remove it simply like this, pull it off, and go ahead and pour. Technology is also advancing wine packaging beyond the screw cap. Now there's single size and more convenient containers. We're seeing wine in cans. We're seeing the whole concept of bag in box technology and being able to consume the wine at your leisure out of your refrigerator or off your counter with no noticeable um, quality problems is actually a wonderful and fabulous thing. All essential new ways to enjoy wine without the pomp and ceremony of a cork.